Hey everybody, and welcome back to Mission Control for another Feature Focus video. In this video, we're talking about multiple attributes in a palette. You can record multiple attributes such as color, position, and gobo into one palette in any of the palette windows. This can be helpful to say put a specific color behind a gobo or a specific zoom slash focus for a position. To this, use the long record method of recording palettes as opposed to the quick record method of double tapping an empty palette handle and having the console filter the attributes for you. To long record a palette, Set what you want in the programmer, press record, and then the palette hard key. Now in the soft keys, you'll be given the following options. User number, set the user number of the palette you are about to record. Provide a legend, set the legend of the palette before you record it. Global shared normal, set the palette type. Set mask, filter the attributes you wish to keep in the palette if you have more than you want in the programmer. Talk about the different palette types, global, shared, and normal. Global stores one piece of information, which is applied across all fixtures as long as they possess the attribute within the palette, i.e. color or pan and tilt. So if you had a red palette that was global, all fixtures that can go red will go red. Shared stores one set of values and applies them to all fixtures of the same type. It would apply to extra fixtures of the same type added later, but not to other fixture types. So if we had a, say, BMFL palette that was red, when we tapped it, only our BMFLs would go red. If we patched more BMFLs, it would automatically work on them. Normal stores a discrete value for each fixture. If all fixtures were point to one spot, they must have individual pan tilt values, for example. So basically, normal is going to be whatever you record in it is the only thing that's saved. Some of the other options that are soft key will be record by mix slash channel and programmer slash group and programmer slash group and mass. Mixed records by attribute group for position and color, but by channel for all other controls. Channel and programmer records only channels which are in the programmer which are the ones you have changed. Group and Programmer records all channels in any attribute group, which has one or more channels in the programmer. For example, if Cyan is in the programmer, all color channels settings will be recorded, even if they are not in the programmer. Or if you had Pan in, it would also record Tilts, for example. Group and Mask records everything included by the mask set on the attribute buttons. Continuing down our soft keys, Store, save the palette to the show library with no handle assigned. Update Offset, Updates the offset and attributes of any fixture. The normal use for this is to correct pan and tilt positions when fixtures are rate different orientations to how they were programmed. The offset is applied to channels just before final output. Record nested palettes enabled or disabled. Enable slash disable the nested palettes function. See our video on nested palettes for more information on that. So let's take a look at this. Here I am in version 15 of Titan on the Titan Go interface. So if we were to say, oh, so we'll select our uh, BMFLs here, and I'll give them a locate so we can see them. And when making these palettes, we can either do it using other palettes, we can make it a nested palette, or we can do it manually. We're gonna do the first one here, just use some of our other palettes to make it. So say that's what we want. We can now hit record, and then palette. And we see here in our soft keys, we can set the user number, provide the legend, set it as a shared, normal, or global. We'll make it a normal. We set our mask for what we want it to include. So we'll go ahead and we'll have it include our position, our color, our gobo, and our beam. And now if we were to tap an empty box in our palette windows here, and we'll hit clear just to make it clear, we can see that it has position, color, gobo, and beam in this one palette. So if we were to select our fixtures again and locate them and tap this palette, you can see it does color, position, gobo, and our zoom. We'll locate our features again. We can also do it manually. You don't have to use palettes to do this, of course. So we could just go in and we could take our, well, we'll put our shutter in and we'll make it uh, stroby. And we'll go to our color and we'll make it yellow. And we'll go to our gobo. And we'll give it this gobo. In our position, we'll throw some tilt on it. And now say this is what we want to record. So again, record, palette, set our mask is still the same, the PC GB, so it'll have position, color, gobo, and beam. We actually want to include intensity, so we'll record our strobing also. And since we put anything beam in, we go ahead and turn that off. You know, we can exit out of that menu, change anything else we needed to, and we can just record that here. So now we can hit clear. And we see it has intensity, position, color, and gobo. So again, we can select their fixtures, locate them, and fire this one and see that we get all of that put in to the programmer. I, of course, could have done that in any window. We just did it in our positions window here. So we have room. We could do it in our gobo window also. So let's go to where we've got some blank space. We'll go ahead and select our spiders this time. 
and we'll give them a locate and we'll use one of our color palettes and we'll go to our position and we'll tilt them out and we'll turn on fan and give them a little pan and let's see that'll do enough for this one so now again we can hit record the palette hard key select where we want it to go we hit clear we locate them and fire our palette and see if we have position and color in that palette if you wanted to save it just to the show library, rather than putting in a palette, we could go ahead and just so, so we'll select our lights and we'll give them a locate, give them a color, and a position, and a gobo. So now we go, we could hit record, palette. We set what we want it to be, so we don't want it to include intensity in this one, just position, color, and gobo. And we could exit here. And I have hit store. It'll save it to our show library with, uh, we'll give it the legend of test. And we'll go ahead and store that. So now we open up our show library. And we go to palettes. You see unassigned, we have the one called test. So let's talk about some of our other soft key options. So if we're in the record palette menu, and we also have store. This would be able us to save the palette to the show library with no handle assigned. We could update the offset and we would enable or disable the nested palettes function. Let's explore the record by soft key. So if we exit out of here and we go ahead and select some of our fixtures and we'll give it a locate so we can see them and we'll give them some tilt and we'll go into color and we'll give them some green and some blue and we'll go to gobo and on Gobo 1, set it to Gobo 2. So now we'll go ahead and hit Record, Palette, and we'll give this one a label of Mixed. And record it here. Now without making any other changes, we'll hit Record, Palette. We'll change it from Mixed to by Channel and Programmer, and we'll change our legend to Channel. And we'll record that one here. And then again, without making any changes, we'll hit record, palette, change it to group in programmer, and change the name to group. And record it here. And then one last time, record, palette. This time we're going to, in our mask, we're going to have it include intensity, even though we don't have anything intensity in the programmer. And we change it to group and mask. Change its name to mask. And record it here. So now go ahead and hit clear. So we'll see if we select those fixtures and we hit this one here. We can see that it put both pan and tilt in the programmer. All three of our colors, as well as our other color options. And put in only our Gobo 2, but nothing else in Gobo. If we hit, go ahead and hit clear, select them again, and hit the one that says channel and programmer. We'll see if we go to position, it only has tilt. It only has those two colors. and only has this gobo in it because the channel put only what we had in the programmer. Whereas mixed did color and position, the whole attribute, but everything else, i.e. gobo and beams and whatnot, are only what's in the programmer. So if we do it again, and we hit the group key, we see it'll go by group in programmer. So in this case, it's going to have both pan and tilt, all of the colors, and all of the gobos, because it put the entire group in the palette. If we clear one more time, and we go ahead and select it, and we hit our mask, we can see that it puts intensity in it also because we turned intensity on in our mask both the positions all of color and all of gobo because it put everything in the mask for those particular attribute groups i.e. group color position and intensity so that has been putting multiple attributes in a palette as you can see you don't have to use it just by the filter of the windows you can set anything into any palette in any window so I hope you learned something. Join us on Facebook at Avalites US. 
Join us here next time. Please subscribe. Thanks. Bye. We'll stop. Roger, we'll stop, Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.